Hey, still hearts, how y'all doing? This is Jada Lynn. Welcome to In the Raw. This is the channel where we discuss narcissism, what it sounds like, what it looks like, and what is up close and personal in your face. <laughs> now so today's topic devaluation being dismissed in relationships what it sounds like and what it looks like um one particular thing that comes to my mind is when i was with the covert there was one particular night where he had a club date gig and a club date gig is pretty much a uh upscale venue he was talking about he didn't have a female singer for that night and he just kept going on and on and on about how he don't have a female singer for that night and i was just sitting up here like does he not really like to get when is he going to ask me he does know that he can ask me you know and and i was listening to how he just felt like he can't find a singer who is going to do this for him? Yeah, how he can't, you know, this puts him in a tight bond and things like that. Let me give you a visual of how I kind of felt. If Whitney Houston was having a conversation with Clive Davis and Clive Davis says that he has this gig, but he don't know where he going to get a female singer because the female singer, whatever, can't make it tonight or whatever the case may be. Whitney Houston will hang up on him. Do you hear what I'm saying? We all know that Whitney Houston was not to be toyed with. And she would have hung up on Clive Davis. She sure enough would have. You better go ahead on now. And that's just how I felt. I was like, yo, this dude is sitting up here talking to a singer. He's talking to an R&B singer. Why are you telling me you don't know where you're going to get a singer from where you're possibly going to get a singer from? And the dude sounded like he sounded like he was all distraught and he was just all distraught. Now, I, I, it, it was just the devaluation for me because are you not acknowledging the fact that I, the, you know, that I sing? Or are you acknowledging the fact that you know that I can sing, but you don't want me to come up there and show you out? Either way, I was insulted. Like, do you hear what I'm saying? It just wasn't cool. Now, let me give you another example because I was looking at this movie. It was some old Lifetime movie from back in the 90s. I think it was called Wicked Minds or something like that. Some wealthy, well-off man, older man, was married to a younger woman. And, um, you know, his son came to visit. He was, you know, in college or whatever. So he came to visit on his, his break. And um, they were sitting in the kitchen eating breakfast. And like I said, he was well off. So he had a maid. And the maid came, gave him their breakfast and everything. And then he, she motions to leave. And then he calls her back and says, I think that you dropped something. And he put a blue card on the table because it was her birthday. And then she opens up the card and she looks inside and it says happy birthday. And it's these, you know, seven day uh, uh, spa treatment, you know, things in there or coupons or tickets or, you know, whatever it is. I, I you know, I, I, I don't know. But she was all excited and she was like, oh, my God, this is for me. Thank you so much. Oh, I really appreciate it. And, you know, I would have been excited too. You know, I mean, I had seven days of spa treatment. Mm, that sounds nice. But then he tells her, well, you better hurry up because the limo will be here at 10 o'clock. Now, while they are having this conversation, and mind you, this is not the type of movie where the man is cheating on his wife with the maid. No, that is not. And this is not the type of video where I am degrading any kind of maids or whatever because I don't do that. But this is a type of movie where it was showing there, there was some type of, you know, devaluing, degrading, dismissiveness, you know, uh, the whole time that the maid and the uh, husband was having this conversation, they showed periodically what the wife looked like. You can see in her face the hurt, 
the insulting feeling, the, you know, the degrading feeling, she felt devalued. She felt jealous on top of that too, you know, because my thing is, is that she's his wife. She works just as hard, if not harder in that type of relationship than the maid does. She tries her best to do this for him, do that for him, and it doesn't get acknowledged. It just does not get acknowledged. You saw, you saw her sitting there feeling less than zero. She was feeling like negative 12, negative 50. That's how she was feeling. And that's your lady. That's your lady. And you giving a maid seven day spa treatment. How come you won't go over to your wife and give her seven day spa treatment? Because surely she's taking care of you just as much as the maid is. E even more than what the maid is. Because if you're that type of individual, obviously the wife is dealing with a heck of a lot. And I think she would have really appreciated a seven day type of, you know, seven day spa treatment and the limo coming at 10 o'clock to pick her up. But she doesn't get acknowledged for her work. She doesn't get acknowledged for anything that she was doing. And you could see the hurt in her face. You could just see it. But she was trying to make it look like, oh, I'm okay. I'm fine. You know, I'm fine. No, she was trying to smooth it over with, I'm, I'm doing just fine. And she wasn't. You could see it all up in her face. She was not doing fine. And this cannot only, this don't just stop in, you know, relationship. I look at relationships and jobs. It can spill over into your job too. You can be working overtime in your job. You can be putting in so much work into the job when the job just does not see your hard work. They do not value your hard work. They just overlook it. They could see you, but they're overlooking the potential that you could actually bring or the value that you could bring to the company. You know, because they feel for whatever reason that you are not good enough. And maybe they know that you are good enough, but they don't want you showing them out. Do you hear what I mean? And this is just how I feel about being dismissed and devalued, uh, whether in your relationship or in your job. Because at the end of the day, a job and a relationship is a commitment. So I look at them interchangeably. You hear what I mean? Um... Don't let anybody get you in a situation where you feel like you are being devalued, where you feel like your potential is being dismissed. You know what you bring to the table. That's the reason why I make these videos so that I can bring it to your attention of what, so you know what it sounds like, what it looks like, when it is up close and personal in your face. We sit there and we make excuses. Oh, well, this person didn't mean it. Oh, well, that person didn't mean it. But they do it every year. They, they probably do it every six months. They probably do it every three months. They probably do it every month. They probably do it every week. They probably do it every day. Y'all, get yourselves up because this has happened to me time and time again and this is where it's time for you to pull that sword out and be like i'm done i'm out of here i'm not dealing with this you could treat somebody else like that but you're not gonna be treating me like that let's get up and get going because we got things to do we ain't got time to be dismissed you want to dismiss somebody it ain't gonna be me and get yourself on out of here all right these are steel hearts y'all remember y'all got the heart of steel Y'all got the heart of steel. Let's get it up and let's get it going.